Traditional keyboard layouts are outdated. I mean, have you ever thought about it? The standard layout for a keyboard has been the same since the days of the IBM Model M in 1985. That layout hasn't changed much, if at all. I mean, usually there's two options when it comes to keyboards. There's a full design, which is around 101 keys, or a 10 keyless design, which is around 87 keys or so. Of course, there's exceptions here and there, and those aren't the two categories that most keyboards are broken down into. But as far as layout goes, those are typically the two that we associate with. Now, does this need to change? Do keyboards actually need to change? If it's not broken, then there's no need to fix it, right? Well, there might be a couple things that we need to fix or at least improve upon. What's up guys, it's JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at keyboard design and layout from a new perspective. We'll be featuring a couple peripherals and keyboards from the company Bloody. Bloody has made a couple appearances on the channel before and they're very progressive in revolutionizing keyboards, famously known for their optical switches, which has insane key press recognition speeds with a latency of 0.2 milliseconds. So we'll be looking at the Bloody B945, B830, and the Natural A keyboard from A4 Tech as examples. First off, do you notice anything different? All these keyboards have the numpad on the left, except for the B. 30 which has no numpad which is the 10 keyless design now people will dispute that there's no need for a numpad which is why they prefer the smaller footprint of the 10 keyless design but with the numpad on the left you can easily assign macros to it for gaming without the need for adding extra macro specific keys to the keyboard but before we go further into that let's understand what the numpad was originally used for the numpad was originally used as navigation on a monitor it was no mouse the numpad was incredibly useful for office use data entry and calculation and ended up remaining on keyboards to the point of this video being made. Now, why should this have to change? There's a couple of reasons. First, if you use your keyboard for many reasons beyond gaming, like me, you usually end up using the numpad all the time. Using Excel, video editing, calculation, coding, and many other activities force my hand into using the numpad for efficiency. Every time I use the numpad while it's on the right side of the keyboard forces me to take my hand off the mouse. Let's take video editing, for example. I want to type in keyframe values with the numpad, but I still want my right hand on the mouse to immediately click over to the next keyframe. I can do this without taking my hand off the mouse like I would with a traditional design. You might be saying, well, your hand isn't moving on the mouse for that brief period of time either way, but I don't have to place my hand on the mouse again and reorientate where the mouse is and my hand. That brief moment of reorientation disrupts the workflow and cuts down on efficiency. While it may not seem like much, when you're editing for 13 hours straight, it makes a difference. If I do end up making a numeric typo, I'll need to use the backspace button and take my hand off the mouse and that would happen either way with the numpad on the left or right. Let's look at another example using Excel. In this scenario, my hand is off the mouse, but now I can traverse through my spreadsheet with my right hand using the arrow keys and use the numpad on the left to input data. If the numpad was on the right, I would constantly have to switch my hand between the numpad and the arrow keys. So having the numpad on the left makes workflow much more efficient. Here's the second reason, and it has to do with gaming. With gaming, I know a lot of people like the 10 keyless design, especially if they don't need the numpad, not even for macros and shortcuts. Stick with the 10 keyless design. That's perfectly fine and that will work for you. For me, on the other hand, I need that numpad. With a traditional layout, I end up rotating the keyboard. It always felt more comfortable and natural for me to rotate the keyboard. That's because the distance between my left hand and my right hand was closer. With my hands closer together, I feel more in control, more comfortable, and I can gain better because of it. With the numpad on the left, I can shorten that gap between my two hands to produce the same level of control and comfort without sacrificing the effectiveness of the numpad. Furthermore, having Having the numpad on the right and having my hands further apart has my shoulders pointed further outwards. While naturally the shoulders like to be pointed in a narrower position in front of the body. That's why I mentioned comfort. You can still rotate the keyboard if you're used to having your shoulders rotated, but that gap will still be shorter in comparison to having that numpad on the right. Even this natural A keyboard changes things up even further with the shape and layout of the keys. The keys still have the numpad on the left, but the keys are pointed towards each other for 
even better typing ergonomics. Your wrists will sit at a better horizontal position since they won't be pointed outwards so much and instead pointed more towards each other reducing the angle that your wrist will be bending. I've seen other keyboards that have layouts where the keys elevate in the middle or they're just completely changed around for the sake of ergonomics but this simple design has good ergonomics without feeling completely unfamiliar to a new format like some other keyboards do. The only aspect to consider while changing to a different layout is just getting used to it. I for one have been using the B945 for about two weeks now and I'm still getting used to it. But basic workflow and gaming ergonomics have never been in a better harmony for me and honestly I don't know if I can go back to a traditional layout. There have been a number of keyboards that have the numpad on the left and seeing a keyboard like the B945 might not be news to you, but they are available and I think it needs more attention. There are companies that I have seen that change keyboards even further by splitting the keyboard in half. This is great to see on all ends. I've reviewed Bloody's keyboards before and their new line of boards are fantastic using optical switches and switch quality that are some of the best that I've ever seen. If you want to see a review of that, that will be in the card right up here and in the description, all the links to the products will be listed in the description below. Let me know if you all enjoyed this type of video and what you want to see from keyboard manufacturers to make gaming and productivity better, or either one, whichever one works better for you, perhaps. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.